Hi, I'm Jeff Yeager. It's time for me to pay up the Cheapskate way by answering some of my viewers' questions. In your first book, The Ultimate Cheapskate's Roadmap to True Riches, you encourage people to go on a fiscal fast every year. What is that and what's it intended to accomplish? We did early on in the Cheap Life a video about this idea of fiscal fasting, which is spending detox. Take a week out of every year and spend no money. Make it a family game, if you will. No cash, no credit cards, no debit cards. This is the week where you'll use up the food that you have on hand and probably realize how much normally goes to waste. It's the week where you'll try something like carpooling to work or telecommuting. It's also the week where you make your own fun as a family by breaking out those board games rather than taking everybody out to the, uh, to the multiplex. You'll save some money during the week. You'll figure out how you spend and waste money in a typical week. And third, and I always think most importantly, it's going to remind you that there are so many great things in life that don't involve spending even a nickel. You do a lot of work with AARP, which I do. What kind of cheapskate advice do you have for retirees and those planning for retirement? My most recent book is called How to Retire the Cheapskate Way, and I dug into the lives of people at every stage in their life, not just retired folks, but people in their 20s just starting out, to find sort of the cheapskate secrets for having a comfortable, enjoyable retirement. And I tried to extract from their collective experiences the sort of keys to retiring comfortably and, and securely, but perhaps on less than you thought was possible. I came up with a lot of different principles, one of the cornerstones of which was retire your debt before you retire yourself. Anybody who goes into retirement carrying debt, including a household mortgage, is ill-advised, according to us cheapskates. You may need to prolong your retirement, you may need to sell some assets to pay off that debt, but most of all, start early in life by avoiding debt, because that's what's really going to make for a golden retirement. Oh, I get this question all the time. We all know that our economy is largely consumer-driven. If everyone followed your advice for spending and consuming less, wouldn't it have a disastrous impact on our economy? With all due respect, give me a break. I'm one cheapskate literally writing about this stuff out of my garage in Southern Maryland. I kind of doubt that I'm going to change everyone's mind when it comes to consumerism. Every day in America, we're, each of us is bombarded by roughly 5,000 commercial messages saying, buy some stuff and you'll be happier. I'm one lone voice saying, reconsider that proposition. Perhaps by buying less stuff, you'll be happier. Secondly, I'm an environmentalist, and I believe the Earth has a very real carrying capacity. We can't all consider, continue to consume and spend at the level we're currently spending, or it will ruin the planet. And third, and this sounds kind of selfish, but perhaps you agree with me, I want to think there's something more to life than waking up every morning to earn some money, to buy some stuff that I may not even want, simply to keep the whole thing going. I think being cheap is a real virtue. Hey, thanks so much for sending me your questions. And remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch, but there is such a thing as free advice here on the show. So ask me anything you'd like, and I'll try to answer next time. I'm Jeff Yecker for The Cheap Life. Stay curious and stay cheap. Make sure you check out my other videos. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of our show. Subscribe to The Cheap Life. It's free.